Hey everyone out there in Banjo Land, Mike Heading here. I've got a short lesson for you today on how to read TAB, T-A-B, short for tablature, just a way to write down banjo music. And a lot of people have really strong opinions about TAB. Some people are really for it, some people are really, really against it. I'm not really sure why exactly. TAB is just a, a tool, you can use it for good or for bad. It depends on how you use it, which is the important thing. And basically what I think of TAB is, is like learning to read or write a language. So if you were learning English or Spanish and you were learning to speak it, that's your ear training, but learning to read and write it is basically like learning to read TAB. So both are very important skills if you want to fully learn the language. Obviously if you can only read the language and not speak it, you're gonna have a deficiency, but if you can only speak the language and you can't read or write it, you're gonna be a little deficient as well. So the goal of this lesson is to help you develop your skills of reading tabs so you can use it as something that benefits you, not something that you're dependent on. All right, here's the lesson. All right, let's start breaking down this how to read tab lesson. And I like to break it down in two parts. So the first thing we're gonna do is figure out what string we're on. And then the second step is figuring out how many frets we need to count up. And once we do that, that's the note we're gonna play based on the tab that we're reading. So feel free to orient this in your head any way you want, but I kind of pretend that I'm looking down at the tab. If you laid the tab flat on the table, the, the string closest to you, so the line closest to you would be your fifth string. And then you'd be looking out, so the line that's the furthest away from you, same with your banjo, would be your first string. So that's how I think of it in my head, and feel free to, like I said, everyone kind of pictures it in their head differently, so feel free to orient it any way in your head that you need to to have it make sense to you. But basically, each line is gonna to correspond to one string. So we've got our fifth string line, we've got our fourth string line, we've got our third string, second string, and first string. So if you see a number on that specific line, we're gonna play that fret on that corresponding string. So not too hard. So first step, remember, figure out what string you're on. And then the second step is figuring out how many frets you need to count up. Okay, that's all there is to it. That's all the tab is. You don't have to know what note it is. You don't have to know what key you're in. You know, all that stuff could be important, but you don't have to know that stuff right off the bat to get started with tab. So um, take this slow, okay? So the next thing we'll do is we're gonna figure out what fret we need to count up. So you figure out what string you're on. So the open is zero frets, so no frets, so you play it open. So if you have the open four string, then open third string, open second string, open first string, and then the fifth string, open fifth string. And then we're going back to the first string, second string, third string. And since they're all in a line, you play them basically like you're reading a book. So you play them one at a time, left to right, just like you're reading, you know, a book, like I said. So let's play that a few times. And we can talk about the rhythm and all that stuff later, but just at this point, just figure out what string you're on, and then if it says a zero, that's open, so no frets. So now let's, let's add some frets. So let's play all these on the third string. So you can see that our five is on that third string. So we're gonna count up zero, one, two, three, four, five. So that's our note. And like I said, you don't have to actually know what note it is. It's a C note, but you don't have to know that. So we're gonna play that note twice. And then down to the fourth fret. See how we're on that same line, so we're not changing strings, but the number is changing, so that means we're changing frets. Down to two, and then open. Let's do that a few times. Remember, play them one at a time. So let's just look at a very basic G major scale, and just this is just good practice reading the tab. So you also see below the tab that we have T's and then these circles with the numbers. So the T, I, and M um, corresponds to your right hand, your picking hand. 
So if unless it, as long as you're playing right-handed banjo, I will preface that. But it corresponds to your picking hand. So you got thumb, index, middle. So T I M. So you don't have to use those fingers, but those are my recommended picking right hand fingerings. The the uh, numbers in the circles correspond to your left hand. You've got one, two, three, four. So if it says a two, I'm recommending using your second finger. If it says a one, I'm recommending using your index finger. Again, you don't have to do that, but those are my recommended fingerings. A lot of times it'll make the song easier. So let's play this basic open G major scale using all of our thumb, and then we're going to use the different left-hand fingerings that it says below. So we're going to start on the open third string. See, it's a zero, so we're going to play it open. Then we've got second fret on the third string with our second finger. Now we're going to go up to the open second string. See how we're changing lines there? So we're changing strings. Then the first fret with our first finger. All the way up to the open first string. Second fret on that same string with your first finger. Fourth fret with your third finger now on that same string. And then up to the open fifth string. Let's go backwards. Let's do that one more time. Let's do one other closed position G major scale just so you can get more tab practice. So this one we're going to start on the, the fifth fret on the four string with our pinky. Then we're going to go up to the second fret, third string, fourth fret, third string, fifth fret with your pinky. That's a, it'll be a good stretch. Up to the third fret, second string, fifth fret, fourth fret, first string. 5th fret 1st string. Follow the tab closely. And I was even doing it all with my thumb there, so I wasn't actually following the tab note for note, but you get the idea. You can follow the right hand fingerings below, you can follow the left hand fingerings below, or you can figure out your own that work for you. Those are just my recommended fingerings. But the, the numbers on the lines correspond to the fret, so you do need to play those, okay? So lastly, let's look at, at a couple other techniques you might see. So I was talking about before, if you see them all in a row, you play them one at a time. So what if we see a bunch in a column? What do we do? So we're going to play them all at once, like a rake. You know, like maybe something at the beginning of Cripple Creek. How would you tab that out? You're putting them in a column because you play them all at once. Same thing with in measure 18 in this example, the pinch. See how those are on the same, they're in a column, so we're going to play them at the same time. You don't play them one at a time because they're, they're not one after the other like that, so you play them at the same time. So that's how you, you represent a pinch in tab or a brush or a strum. Anytime you see multiple notes basically lined up in a column, you play them at the same time. You also might see a slide, like that two to three slide. You also might see a pull off. You might see a hammer on. And we can talk about how to do those techniques in another lesson, but those just get familiar with how you see those in tabs. Basically, a hammer on is usually an H, a pull off is usually P O, and a slide is usually S L. So, those are very common symbols you'll see in almost every banjo tab because you know from playing bluegrass banjo, you're going to use a lot of slides, hammer ons, and pull offs. All right, so that's the basics to reading tab. All right, hopefully that helps you out. All right, good luck.